फ्रेंड्स एज यू पी एस सी मेन्स ट्वेंटी वन ये सेवन डेज अवे आई विल टेलिंग यू नाइन पॉइंट्स दैट यू कैन यूज इन एनी इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी आंसर टू स्कोर मोर इन जी एस थ्री इन यू पी एस सी मेन्स अराउंड फोर क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी सो दिस नाइन पॉइंट्स आई वुड राइटिंग द मैज just to remember that's all just remember i am just writing something like i4 pc 80 square so here friends in gs3 gs3 some two questions of 10 marks and some two questions of 15 marks would be from internal security so around 40 to 50 marks from internal security and in internal security also broadly as you know very well the questions would be from border security and in the border security friends it can be the land border or coastal border coastal border and money laundering money laundering topic is there then you have uh, cyber security cyber security and security issues related to the social media social media social networking sites or media media also you have terrorism terrorism naxalism the left wing extremism and organized crime also organized crime so these are the various topics from which questions will come so let the topic come from any of these topics any of these topics still you can use these nine points i will be giving you one example from each point also for example friend i4 in the sense infrastructure infrastructure intelligence intelligence or information information and institutions institutions as well as implementation of laws implementation of law act whatever friends infrastructure definitely comes under any internal security issue for example talking about the border security take the land border definitely you have to focus on the integrated check posts or laser walls etc for example regarding the intelligence most of the security threats can be you know addressed if you have got the right intelligence right information for example the coastal for example 2008 26 year attack that happened we do not have the intelligence the 10 terrorists are actually coming through the coastal border or see 2010 dantewada attack where 76 crpa personnel killed they do not have the information of the attack planned by the maoists so essentially information intelligence is very important coming to the institution friend for example for the naxals crpf has become really a very strong institution or for money laundering enforcement red red is a really good institution so like that for any security threat we should have strong institutions by strong personnel and strong technology to solve it then coming to the implementation of law friends india has got lot of laws for example to solve the problem of money laundering for example binami prohibition act is there but the implementation has to be still beefed up similarly for example in same money laundering only the routing of the money the money from mauritius the money from other cayman islands coming into india in the form of participatory notes in the form of institutional investors through or in oda overseas direct investment or participatory notes in these the kyc norms are not properly implemented kyc norms so implementation of laws is very important to solve the security threats now friends coming to as i discussed i4 now let us go for p what is p p is nothing but personal you can use this for example friends personal in the sense both the number of personal you need to have more personal as well as skilled personal skilled personal more personal friends friends to solve the organized crime happening anywhere in india we require more police people or to address the terrorism problem we need to have more java more soldiers or more cad or for example to, to solve most of the corruption case in india we require more cba personnel so in this way number of people should be more similarly skilled people 
for example take cyber security these days cyber terrorism or cyber crime has been rampant and most of the cyber criminals are technologically very strong so we require we require a strong cyber warriors strong cyber team highly skilled to you know address the cyber security problem that is about personal now coordination friends as i already told you uh, just few minutes ago in 2010 the dantewada attack chatisgarh where 76 crpf personnel killed actually what happened is the coordination between the crpf and the state police chatisgarh state police is lacking because of the lack of the coordination only that that the particular uh, security issue has come it led to large scale deaths so though india has got lot of teams lot of departments lot of agencies they need to coordinate they should be interoperability they have to operate interoperability they have to operate together they have to share intelligence mutually they have to work together they have to work in a integrated fashion that is very important for any security to solve any security threat india is facing then friends awareness a is awareness awareness for example take anything for example take the naxalism problem naxalites have got strong support in some of the rural areas of india because the people there lack the awareness that naxals really cannot develop them in fact it's only the government which can help them in long term for development for example take terrorists in the border areas several families are actually supporting the terrorists there is also lack of awareness or money laundering for example normally most of the uh, people in india would be buying maybe smuggled goods black goods uh, you know in a black market goods in the black markets or hawala many people are in the hawala that is because of lack of awareness of, of what it may lead to so awareness generation among the people is very important for coastal security border security or to solve the naxism problem anything for example cyber security also many people are not aware because of which the people who are working on the computers working on systems or working on the phones or even social media people who are using social media they are not aware of the possible threats that can come through social media to using of facebook or possible threats that can come by by you know phishing in the mail or uh, from the computers that is why most of these security threats india is facing so awareness have to be generated among the people to solve any security issue then friends t two t's two t's in the sense one is technology second is training friends technology is for example go for coastal security to keep the coast of india secure we need to use technology for radar technology radars for better coastal surveillance or gps tracking or maybe along the land border the laser walls technology for cyber security we require better technology so technology is essential in today's world to solve any kind of security threat same with training the, the point of the training means not only training of personnel you know training of the general public who are facing this issue training of the departments constantly updating the departments agencies soldiers about the possible security issues and uh, equipping them with the technology and equipping them with the ability capability to use the technology so friends i just told nine points but other than nine points you can use any point whatever question comes in the examination based on the question definitely will have some information but along with that if you can add these nine points definitely you can get some half or one mark more friends december 29 30 31 and january 3rd 4th 5th we are conducting free mock exam for the students who are writing upsc mains in 2021 in the coming january 7th 29th is sa 30th is gs1 and 2 31 is gs3 and 4 same essay gs1 and 2 3 and 4 so you can write if you want to write it offline we have centers in hyderabad and we have central central vijayawada in these two centers you can write offline otherwise you can write online for writing online you please register uh, by using the link or details given in the description below this video and you write this exam for free and evaluation will be done on the same day or the next day what exams you write we evaluate the papers on the same day or next day evaluation does not mean we will give you all the information to get more marks the only thing is friends at this time at this stage as you are very close to the examination you cannot learn anything new so we would be mostly commenting on your answers answer writing style 
the changes you have to make in the introduction conclusion or the body of the answer any any uh, techniques that you can use to score more every student will have some strengths and some weaknesses we will analyze it accordingly we will give the feedback so students who are writing online can submit your answers scanned answers in the mail and we will call you on the phone we will evaluate students who are writing in the center on the same day or next day we will evaluate the evaluator will be in front of you they will evaluate so in this way you can get a real time experience of the examination before the actual examination before the actual, and also the papers that we give are the real UPSC papers so that we will simulate the real examination get the actual feel it will help you in managing the time very well before you go to the real exam all the best friends do well